Hello there, what's going on, Taurus? How are you? My name is Antoine, and let me welcome you to your love messages for the end of July of 2022. So, Taurus, these messages will cover roughly the 21st through the 31st of July for all placements of Taurus, including the Taurus lover, if you're here in the house, okay? We're going to do things how we usually do. We're going to kick it off with the Golden Soulmates Oracle that's also combined with the Golden Twin Flame Oracle. <clears throat> and then we'll clarify around it using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot, okay? So Taurus, keep in mind that these messages are general. They will not resonate to everyone. So please do not force a message if it doesn't fit, okay? Now, with all that said, what's going on for the messages for Taurus? Messages for the energy of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in love, romance, and relationships for the end of July. What are the energies for Taurus in love, romance, and relationships for the end of July 2022? <clears throat> Let's get this last shuffle and then we'll move forward. Okay, Taurus, so we have faith, okay, faith, all right, and then our next card here under the deck is going to be lost love, okay, we have faith and then we have lost love, so the energy that I feel like that's coming off of this, Okay, Taurus, it definitely feels like there's there's either you either you you're holding out that someone will come back to you. You're holding out that someone will come back to you, that someone will reach out to you. <clears throat> someone that you feel as though you lost due to whatever circumstances, but it does feel like you may have lost this person to someone else. And there's an energy of you holding out for this person to come back to you, okay? Whether they will or won't, but we'll, we'll continue to see what the message is spreading. <clears throat> now, also, this could be on the flip side. Whoever's watching here, Taurus or Taurus lover, you know, someone could be um, hoping that you would reach out back to them, okay? However it goes. But it feels like there's an energy here of, hey, I had you and then I lost you. And maybe I've been making certain changes <clears throat> in hopes that you'll see me and come back or something to that degree. You understand what I'm saying? And it feels like whoever this person connected with over you, Taurus, it feels like maybe at the time, the thing is, <clears throat> the reason why it didn't work out before is that it feels like they, they connected, they connected more on a spiritual level with someone. They may have connected with you on a spiritual level as well. You understand what I'm saying? You know, it was a strong, it was a strong love. It was a strong connection rather as well. But there may have been an even stronger connection elsewhere. Okay. So whether that happened to you or <clears throat> in whichever way you ended up in that. Okay. Take it how it resonates. All right. I'm going to go ahead and continue with this energy here because I do feel like this is the strongest energy that, that that's, that's, you know, that I'm able to visualize. So, um, you know, if you don't feel like this message <clears throat> is going to resonate to you in any sort of way, excuse me. If you don't feel like this message is going to resonate to you in any sort of way, then, um, well, I won't waste your time, I, but I will thank you for your time. OK, so um, make sure you check out your moon, your rising and your Venus signs. My allergies are like, uh. <laughs> anyways, make sure you check out your moon rising in Venus. OK, and. <clears throat> Everybody else, let's go ahead. Let me take a sip of, of water or something. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I know y'all tired of me. Ooh. Clearing my throat in the camera, but sometimes I feel like that too. Like 
there's the energy of like your voice being restricted that might be coming off as well. Like maybe communication, maybe, you know, knocked out between y'all. Maybe y'all are not necessarily in community or maybe the communication that you do give is, is like lost. You know, it's, it never really gets heard. Oh, Lord. OK, so let's go ahead and continue to see what's going on for us. Clarify this energy here. Whoa. Seven of Pentacles popped out. King of Cups. Um, <clears throat> I just I just feel with the energy of that. I feel like you, yeah, again, you're waiting on that person to contact you. You may be expecting, hoping this person will contact you. Let's get this last good shuffle here, Taurus. I wanted to make sure these cards were good and shuffled. All right, let's go and let's continue. All right, Page of Swords. Okay. The Nine of Swords. Mm -hmm. The Fool. Death. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so listen, it feels as though um, this is the energy that I feel. It feels like, okay, as you were getting to know this person, you really were actually really ready to start something new, start start something brand new and start like start something fresh. You feel like this person pulled you out of a really, really dark time. And so that's why you kind of maybe clung to them or maybe that's why they had some big, you know, you felt like you were gaining in a very spiritual way with this person because they made you feel very different than how you were feeling. You were caught up in your head and your worries and your stresses and stuff like that. And for a moment, it's like they took that away. You know, as you were getting to know this person, as you were getting to understand this person and learn this person, you know, you were moving more towards risking something with this person. Um, however, it changed here with the death energy. OK, um, that situation never got off the ground. Like I said in the beginning, it feels like that person may be connected with someone else whose the energy was just stronger. And so in a way, it's almost like you kind of had to grieve losing this person, which is which is which is what's still keeping you connected to this person's energy. Under the deck, yeah, the Three of Swords. Oh, yeah, it hurt. Oh, it did. And the thing about it is, is that it probably doesn't even feel like it took <clears throat> a long time for you to make this connection with this person. It doesn't even feel like that. You know, you know, you had this either almost instant connection or the connection that you had developed and deepened just over, you know, a, 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 a short period of time. You know, and no, you didn't know everything about this person, but, you know, but y'all were at that phase. Y'all were getting to know each other. But you had to watch them. You had to watch them fall in love with somebody else. <clears throat> Make a connection with someone else. Now, this is about to be this next little Thing that I'm visualizing is very specific, but I don't know if I have any church going people out here that are watching, but I, I, but because, you know, f fundamentally I was raised, you know, Christian. So I'm this, this, this is the example that I'm going off on. So I'm just, of course, being respectful of everybody's culture. But what I see here is like, you're going to the same place of worship or you're going to the same church as somebody you meet this person and y'all connect oh this person is in the church oh my god yes you know they're good they're having a you know y'all are in the spirit together and falling in love and then whoop next thing you know child they meet somebody else in the church and the connection is stronger so now you got to sit there and go to church every sunday or whatever day you go and watch them be together and stuff like that you know what i'm saying like that's where the sting of it is like that's how I'm visualizing it. So I know it's that that part is probably going to be really specific, but that's just how I see it. Okay. And of course, take it how you resonate. All right. 
And I know not everybody goes to a place of worship like in that respect. You know what I'm saying? But that was just an example. But in either way, in or out of a church or a place of worship, wherever, you know, you have met someone that's really changing you in a spiritual way, but then they get pulled away from you by someone else who has also made a spiritual connection with this person. <clears throat> and so, and it doesn't feel like this person was playing you. I don't think that at all. I don't feel like this person was playing you or anything, Taurus. It just really happened that way, you know, and it was just you, you were the one to get hurt because you were ready to risk it, you know? So, whew, that was a lot. That was heavy. But well, we're going to go ahead and continue. Remember, we got the Three of Swords that came out here. So that's where we're at now with this. So let's go ahead and continue to move forward. And at this point, yeah, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment box below. Right, y'all. So we have the chariot. We have the six of pinnacle. Okay. We have the five of cups. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. And then the devil. Oh, okay. All right, listen. The chariot, the six of pentacle, the five of cups here, and then the devil. So with the chariot energy, I just feel like, yes, the, the this is the energy of how this moved. Like everything really moved pretty quickly. Like I said, you develop these deep feelings for this person um, over a very brief period of time. Okay. Um, and the thing about it is, it's like, okay. You probably didn't know exactly how they felt, but obviously they weren't in it as deep as you were, which is not bad on them. It's just your feelings moved faster than theirs. OK, but I do feel like that may be because, like I said, this person just made a huge impression on you. OK, I feel like when they I feel like when when you were. As you were, I feel like as you were watching it happen, it's like you really couldn't even be mad, mad because it wasn't like. You were treated unfairly here. I don't see where you were treated unfairly. It was just unfortunate. Okay. But sad, nevertheless. And it's like, like I said, you had to watch from a distance as this person got to know someone else on a spiritual level. And you watch their spiritual relationship deepen into their physical relationship. And then now it's feeling like, yeah, you're just feeling like you're missing out. <clears throat> it feels like you're missing out on the situation. But as we move here into the, into the latter part of your message, Taurus, as you like, this really does have the potential to develop into severe depression, Taurus. Okay. And some of you may already be headed there. And I always want to just stress enough, like, for me, you know, therapy works, okay? You know, I know everybody don't want to hear that or whatever, but, you know, or talk to somebody who will listen, you know what I mean? But I feel like, um, mm -mm -mm. it's like severe depression being brought on by just the sheer fact of you literally having to watch the person you wanted to be with be happy with someone else. And that can really lead you down a dark path if you let it. Because you do have the death card here, okay? And with the Five of Cups, the Death and the Devil, I, I see, I, I could really see you leading or heading towards a really, really dark path. One where you may take unhealthy risks. OK. 
Okay. The Empress. The, the, oh, Taurus, that's your energy right here. This is your ruling energy. Okay. The Empress, Venus, ruling over Taurus, as well as Libra. Okay. Remember who you are. If that makes any sense to someone. I feel like I just feel like there may be someone that you need to talk to. OK, um, just to because I, I think that you can really like go down a dark path of like keeping those feelings in. And then it just doing a lot of damage to you. Internally, especially having to be in the presence of. And that's going to stifle your shine. You know what I'm saying? And Taurus, also someone out there sees you as the empress that you are. Okay. There are other options. You just are sad that this one didn't work out, but you may have other options. All right. So that's the energy that I have here, Taurus. Uh, it's it's a little thick. I'm not gonna lie, but um, but you know I don't sugarcoat. I just let you know. I just see. I say what I see. All right. So you guys take care and thank you so much for your time. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel. And Taurus, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next message. All right. Take care now.